What's going on YouTube? JT is your born here, and welcome back to another edition of my DC Combo Reviews. And in this video, we're talking about Batman Detective Comics, issue number 1088, the penumulative the chapter of Ramby's Gothic Opera. As it says here, uh, Gotham Nocturne Act 3 Finale Part 1. I've lost count of how many parts this finale Act 3 has at this point, but we got one more issue left in this run, and then hopefully we'd ever have to see the Orkham family again, at least for many, many years. <laughs> at least that's kind of how I'm feeling. But uh, yes, yeah, so this one's written by Ram V, and the artists are Gila March, colors by Luis Guerrero, and the artwork here looks fantastic. I like From a visual standpoint, this is a great-looking comic book, but basically this issue is all the different moving pieces at play uh batman and his allies within this battle that he's teamed up with you know you even have two-face and mr freeze are kind of working together out of necessity to take down the orkham family and we have like ten-eyed man and i think dwell dent and whatnot's there too and all the various places are being kind of taken down at once and the orkhams are losing their grip on the city uh you know you even have like the queen orgam or whatever her name is again uh you get some great looking artwork of batman in this thing i mean we get to see him kick a lot of ass which is always great i actually kind of like the design of this like resurrected batman bat suit i think it looks pretty cool and there is a large chunk of the issue where it's just batman beating people up you get some pretty brutal stuff in there as well uh there's one character that mr freeze uh freezes but the guy's like hey, you fool i can regulate my uh quite my blood to warm it up so well, you can't stop me he's like oh i was counting on that I put some sort of coagulate and now you're just gonna be bleeding from every part of your body and i'm like good god that's brutal and i thought that was kind of awesome so mr freeze is a pretty cool moment within the issue uh then we have two face versus that werewolf and so he shoots himself in order to stop it and he's like oh, i'm gonna need a doctor right here and that's kind of it for that one so and of course it's batman versus the queen right there and they get into a bit of a battle and he's like you want to know how i overcame your monsters because mine are way, way worse and i've always carried them close to the heart and so he's gonna go and try and stop crane who's hooked up to this machine and she's like it won't open gotham's fate was sealed a long time ago and crane is kind of trapped under this machine and now he's going to get ready for the final battle and it's going to end in the next issue then in the backup storyline this is written by dan waters we have talia al ghul resurrecting arzen orgham and he's going to try and play a factor within the final issue so that's that one the artwork this time around was done by chris Minton. i don't think it's nearly as good as the art in the main storyline and but we we know an important piece of the puzzle now like at least it ties into it so okay so talia's resurrecting him he's going to play a part in the final chapter of this run so uh this wasn't a bad one like i said there's a lot of action in it we're finally getting to the conclusion of the storyline which i'm all the more excited for because i mean this one has gone on for a really really long time i am going to go back before the final issue comes out and reread the whole thing from beginning to end because I think maybe if I read it kind of in one, almost like close to one sitting, because there's going to be a bit of a gap between this issue and the next like a month or so until the next one comes out. But I think maybe reading it at once, it'll like read better in that regards. But trying to follow along for like the past like two years or whatnot, however the storyline has gone on, it really feels like it has kind of dragged its feet. Um, maybe even reading it, it'll still feel like it drags its feet. But at least we're getting to the conclusion of this thing. And at least there's some pretty cool moments. I think my favorite bit is the part with Mr. Freeze and just putting that coagulant that guy just basically exploding uh with his blood i thought that was pretty awesome like that's genuinely really cool and you know you got two face fighting this werewolf thing that's pretty cool he shoots it and uh the stuff with the al ghouls i think they've been written and kind of handled well within the storyline and you know she's got her own stuff going on here i feel like ram v at least like respects the al ghouls and their history to write them well enough so i do wonder where some of the other bad family members are at during the storyline even like when does this thing take place because uh, given like how DC has gone to like so many different events while this one has just gone on for so long, I've kind of lost track of like where the timeline of all this stuff is at. But once this is done, I think everything will start kind of fresh and we'll get a feel of where the continuity of everything's at at this point. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be weird when this thing finally like, uh, ends because we've been into this one storyline for so long. Uh, but it's going to be a bit of a breath of fresh air. So once October comes around, all the books are really kind of starting fresh, which I think is, I think is good. You kind of need to start fresh every once in a while with the different titles and just kind of give people a, a new end or if like somebody's kind of checked out for a while it's like okay i can jump back on at this point so looking forward to that work uh that one uh like i said there's some good artwork in the main storyline the backup artwork is eh, it's not the greatest it's kind of okay uh but at least like i said that's it at least tells an essential piece of the puzzle uh and it's not just some random tie-in like it actually 
fits into the story of what's going to happen. So it, it does feel more essential than a lot of other backups do at times. So, yeah. All right, well, I've rambled on long enough. What did you think of Batman Detective Comics issue number 1,088? Uh, it isn't an absolute power tie-in, which is, you know, because like some of the other titles have been doing that. Uh, it's still really just kind of stuck to doing its own thing. Let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content, hit that bell for notifications. That's going to wrap it up for my DC comic book reviews for the week. I will be back again next week with more stuff. Maybe I'll have some after the movies or something else. I don't exactly know. It's a it's Labor Day weekend coming up, so hopefully everyone has a solid one. And uh, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.